The barriers to educating the healthcare workforce on healthcare disparities, I would say at the current moment, is that everyone is burnt out, tired, and doesn't want to hear about another, in air quotation marks, required training. We're facing a crisis in healthcare, unprecedented demand for our services at a time when more and more healthcare professionals are leaving the professions. And so I think we have to think creatively about how we incorporate these principles into everyday practice and training so it doesn't appear to become another burden in simply checking a box. I think checking a box doesn't do us any good. You know, we can say we've done the required training and move on. I think it requires thinking about how each individual profession relates to patients. So I'm a physician. I don't know specifically how best to address how nurses should educate themselves about these issues, but there are a lot of smart nurses who are steeped in education who can figure out creative ways of really creating the kind of education that the nursing workforce needs that is meaningful yet not intrusive and doesn't simply check a box. As a physician, I think that the ways in which we, we educate our workforce that doesn't become, that doesn't feel intrusive or simply like we're checking a box is to make sure that it is part of our everyday education. We don't segregate it as the diversity training or the equity training or the inclusion training or the justice training. That is a part of our everyday educational life. So when we're talking about diabetes and we're talking about the great advances in care for diabetes with SGLT2 inhibitors and GLP-1 agonists, that at the same time, we're talking about what are the structural barriers that prohibit some patients from accessing these kinds of care. That when we're talking about transplantation, that we make sure we underscore transplantation is the best form of renal replacement therapy for patients with advanced kidney disease. Yet, we know that patients from racial and ethnic minorities are less likely to get a kidney transplant and less likely to be referred for a kidney transplant. So we incorporate not only the education that kidney transplantation is the best form of renal replacement, but at the same time, we talk about diversity, equity, justice, and inclusion. It isn't segregated. It's part of our everyday curriculum, and that is the way, I think, in which we get the education out there, that we make it normal and everyday and ordinary to talk about these principles when we're talking about whatever the clinical topic is.